In the coming decades, farming needs to supply food to an ever-growing population. In the light of scarce environmental resources and high ecological standards, however, current agricultural technology has to evolve. The Flourish project presents a robotic approach to precision agriculture that aims at driving this evolution to make the future of farming more sustainable. Flourish focuses on sugar beets because this crop is of great importance for European agriculture. Sugar beets are among the most important crops in Europe and in temperate climates. However, most of the countries here are net sugar importers, making it even more important to have efficient sugar beet protection systems. Conventional weed control happens by mechanical hoeing or by spraying the whole field with herbicides. Both methods are not very efficient because mechanical treatment leaves weeds between the sugar beets in the crop rows. During spraying, most of the herbicide lands on non-target surfaces such as soil and the sugar beet itself, detrimenting the environment and the crop itself. Robotic approaches can alleviate these problems by target-specific spraying and mechanical weeding. In sugar beet it is very important to have an effective weed control during early growth stages because sugar beet grows slower than most of the competing weeds. The Flourish project is about the future of farming. We envision ground robots like the bonnie rob, which can seed, deweed, till and fertilize farms. In precision agriculture, these tasks are not required throughout the field, but only at specific locations on the field at specific times. Therefore, we develop an unmanned aerial vehicle, which can act as a scout for the bonnie rob, autonomously mapping the field with cameras and multispectral sensors. In Flourish, precision agriculture means that instead of applying pesticides or fertilizer to the whole field, the robot team monitors individual plants and applies treatments on a per-plant basis. This is how a typical application of the Flourish system looks like. The farmer instructs the system via a simple mission interface on a tablet computer. The robot team is assigned a task and a field. In our example, it shall perform weed control on a sugar beet field. The aerial vehicle then autonomously acquires a map of the field and identifies regions where weeding is necessary. It sends the map to the ground robot. The ground robot autonomously navigates to the area of interest by accurately following the crop rows. Once it has arrived in the area of interest, the ground robot automatically classifies every plant it sees into the categories crop or weed. Besides spraying herbicides, Flourish deploys a mechanical weeding device that pushes individual weeds into the ground using pneumatic stamps. This kind of a project is only possible through a collaboration between multiple European universities and industry, each of which has their own expertise, crop science, computer vision, field robotics, and product development, all of which are required for such a project to be successful. Today, Flourish is a landmark research project that innovates agriculture. In the future, the technologies developed within Flourish will help preserve environmental resources and produce sustainable food.